And here we are again, going to a tailor's shop. Today is... Uh, you could have watched the replay of the amazing Okada Omega match round two on Axis TV tonight if you wanted to. It was a great oh, cool. match. What? I will not spoil ah, the finish. Oh, okay. It was even better than their first match, which is saying something, because that is probably one of the best matches you'll ever see in professional <laughs> wrestling. And they topped you know, it somehow. This, this, this color is all right. Yes. So this is like Florentine Red or something along this line. Tuscan Red? Florentine plus Florentine Crimson, I think it was. Uh, Although why I'm menacing these innocent people, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Azael. Ezrael, sorry. So, yeah. Um, well, now I'm just being goofy, but, you know, I think we are doing this video out of order. I think there's another video before this one that I have to get around to making, but have not made it yet, but I will get around to it. So let's just let's just go with this. Sure. And I'm menacing a lot of people. I think this is, yeah, this is going to be the video where I fi we finally go to the Il Vaticano district, which... We were at, in at the very start of the game and have not been since. Yeah, there isn't a, a ton that you get in the like, Vaticano right now. Um, there are... Admittedly, there are one or two chests that can be kind of useful, but that's about it. Oh! And there's five, and there's five right, Georgia right. flags. Yeah. Yeah, there are But other than, uh, other than that, it's basically a huge red zone and some really powerful enemies are there. Yes. Behold a sight most uh, of course splendid. Katarina Sforza. They couldn't have given her a nicer dress, seriously. Has at last been brought to well, she's kind of being held ah! prisoner. No one kneels as low as Lucrezia Also, did we really need a huge intelligence agency to find out where uh, Katarina was going? It seems like this is a pretty big public thing. The same will happen to any who defy us. Good people of Roma, stay strong! You will be free, your time will come, I swear it! They are going to torture her. Katarina is a powerful ally. If we help her now while she is weak, she will aid us in return. I have to say, though, I do like, I do love but Katarina. And Rodrigo first. Yeah, she's got a good, good, good presence yes. in these games. Yeah, especially in Assassin's Creed 2. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is one of the bigger missions of the game. <laughs> Now you're oh, menacing uh, Machiavelli. Congratulations. Uh, yes, I am. So this is one of the bigger missions of the game. We have to go into the Castel Sant'Angelo, muck around for a bit, and you know, you find could just where Katarina's uh, cell. You could, you could just, like, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm trying to be cool. Trying, trying to be cool here, all right? It, it would be very conspicuous if I started blending in with the Cardinals. You're wearing or, red. Yeah. Well, still, you can't take any chances. After all, I'm the only heavily armed caped fellow in town. Have you seen some of the Swiss Guard? No, we haven't. Yes, we have. But because the Swiss the Swiss Guard are only in the Il Vaticano. At least saw one in the last video in the, in the Copernicus missions. Uh, I don't recall one. I think that was just a brute. Uh, he was a boss man. He was the, he was the uh, captain. They used to reuse his model. So this is the uh, Castel Sant'Angelo, the Castello. Oh, oh you're, you're you're talking about the knight at the very yeah. end, right? Yeah. Um, so this is the uh, Castello Sant'Angelo. We'll be coming here every once in a while. Um, yeah, it's it's probably the biggest uh, building in the game. And it's visible oh. from base. It's basically visible from anywhere on the map. It it the the Colosseum and this are probably close to tied. Um, yeah. It it's hard. It's hard because the Colosseum is just so massive, but it and so. Um, what do you? This know, is the wrong way. Don't go this way. This is yes. Not how you're supposed to actually go. There. Well, d okay. Oh, no. we, we okay. We did need to wait for those guys to turn around, so it's okay. Yes. Now, in, in fairness, as it so as it so turns out, is normally it's really hard to get into the Vatican. The Vatican. There's like one or two spots you can get in. Uh, for this mission, they actually break one piece of fence, so you can actually get in that way. 
Huh. Uh, yeah. It, it, like, this fence is not like this otherwise. It's the full fence, and you can't get over it. Also, this is one of the uh, harder bonus objectives, because this is a pretty long mission. And if you get start, there are no checkpoints, so if you get spotted, you will have to restart and go all the way back to the very beginning. Yeah. Th that being said, though, it isn't the worst thing in the world, because... No. As as bad as it could as it, bad as it can be, um, the guard patrols are pretty light, and you can generally kind of work your way into a position where not a lot of people will see you. Yes, um, this is also one of those stealth games where if guards discover a dead body, they won't go nuts and sound the alarm or something. They will start searching, but they won't. Yeah. The thing is, the thing is, the mate, you're going to be climbing on uh, the mausoleum, the uh, castell. So there is a lot of vertical movement, and guards don't really work well with vertical movement in this game, in, in that they can't yeah. detect very well high if you're really high up. Yeah. Th th there's one or two little tricky parts to it, I'd say. Like. That, that courtyard is actually pretty simple, especially if it's something like the uh, uh, crossbow. Yeah, the, cross, or a lot the, cro of knives. the crossbow breaks stealth missions. Because it is a ranged, stealthy projectile that kills almost everyone instantly. Yeah. I think some I think some of the heavily armed dudes in Il Vaticano do take two to kill them. Yeah. Okay, so I, mean, I, I don't know how many ways there are to get up on the castell, but the way I've always done it is go far to the left. Moving counterclockwise, if you will. Yeah. But now, I, I, I do think it is possible to go clockwise. Or, no, we would, we're would we going clockwise now. We would go counterclockwise yeah. is not how I usually do this. Yeah, it's also kind of hard to get up top of the Castello on some after some points because it's just like. Yeah, see, you can't climb up. Uh, this yeah, now if we were to actually like turn on the Eagle Vision, you'd see that right below him was a glyph, but um, we can't. Huh. We're not gonna do that, I guess. I, I actually didn't didn't realize. I forgot there was a glyph here, but I suppose that makes sense. Whatever, I'll get around to it. Yeah. I better just do the story. You, you, you just decided to do the story. Oh no! Or collapse like an idiot. But oh god! What was... And this 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 whole mission series of missions here, because once you do start this mission, it does kind of lock you into a sequence. Um, this yeah. this mission I this mission in particular, the one we're on, I think is about the height of the Borgia guards' incompetence. They are pretty shit at things, actually. Uh, we will be seeing that in vivid detail very shortly, actually. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's any other time that they'd be really just as bad as this set. Uh, but, but let's not kid ourselves. They're always pretty shit at things, honestly. Yeah, yeah. So you will want to get I, you will want to get rid of this guy. He can spot you when you're climbing on the castell. Yeah. It also helps to have some throwing knives because unarmored guys like that on hit kill. Yep. Now, obviously, uh, what we're going to need to do here is create a distraction for those two mooks. They uh, won't see you. Well, you never know. Uh, <laughs> so, we're going to need a little distraction, and my buddy here is going to help us out. Master class infiltrator. Yes. Now this would be a case where if you had to look climbing gloves, this would be really helpful. But we don't have that at this point in the game. Uh, yep. I said helpful. I didn't say required. Um. So essentially, the hardest part of the level is basically over at this point. Um. 
At, at least for getting the bonus objective. It can kind it's of really be, it can kind of be a little disorienting to climb a really circular structure because the camera's kind of moving along with you, so you kind of have to reorient yourself after every jump. Yeah. But it, yeah. it, it's not that hard. And, it's, yeah. and also because of how the how you like to be orthogonal to stuff when you jump off, this. right? To plan your jumps. The the, don't oh, rush through it, and it's not that hard, I basically. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Have you talked to the Pope about the So it was rumored that Cesare and Lucrezia siblings were lovers, but with how much shit was thrown at the Borges in their own time, it's hard to know if that was true or not. But no. this game is kind of running with that when as running with all the Borgia de rumored decadence, because they're kind of really trying to portray the Borges really morally bankrupt sure. folks. Once I have secured and if you read and for a brief flash forward in the multiplayer file files for Revelations, you can see Absurgo of the modern day also called them pretty morally repugnant folks, and that's why they got their asses kicked. Well, as long as somebody nobody's just wandering around half naked and holding a large skull, I think everything will yeah, be fine. I think we'll manage. <clears throat> Um, this is Lucrezia. Yeah, she had quite a life. Yeah. Micheletto is Cesare's private assassin, basically. Those other seven children. Yeah. Or you could take a jaunt over to Wikipedia. <laughs> yes, so, and if, if, if it isn't obvious, Lucrezia will survive this game, so don't expect her to so die. So, obviously, Ezio <laughs> needed to wait around until nightfall, and Cesare took a very long time getting out of the that, uh, Castel. Uh, yeah. Uh, he was waiting for Cesare to leave, so he wouldn't have to try to kill yeah. him this time. <laughs> oh no! I only stood uh, uh, hung outside the window for twelve hours. How could okay, I? Okay, so let, let's inside. let's do a reminder here. Cesare left out the front door, and what we're gonna do is go right through the front door, except in, into the castell this time. You'd think they'd have more sentries there, but apparently not. Yeah. Well, you can theoretically like. You don't have to go right through the front door, but you could if you want also, to. Also, that there's a guy patrolling down there. You can't see him from this angle. He's a great uh, landing guy. You can assassinate him from this height, and if you assassinate somebody, you take no fall damage. Now, you see, whenever I would do this mission, I would always climb up to the top hmm. of the castle, and then I would just kind of walk my way in. Um... So you don't really have to even deal with any of this. Uh, so the Castell uh, is the wonderful game of modular gameplay. There are a lot of doors in here that will open up <laughs> randomly, um, depending <laughs> on the mission. Uh, this is probably the one path that's almost always open, which is the way up to the yeah. upper levels. Uh, there's a surprisingly gigantic trap door here for whatever <laughs> godforsaken reason. Well, it's for throwing hay down. Uh, for some reason. Yes. And now you can wander around this place like an idiot trying to find uh, Catherine for like half an hour like I did the first time. I did this <laughs> it's not always... Okay, the, that uh, staircase down there leads back to the entrance. You don't want that. Right. It's an and it does really help to know where you're going because, again, you get spotted. You have to start from the very beginning. Right. And now these, these would lead you out yes. onto the roof, um, the lower levels of the roof. There's not really anything to do here right now. No. No. Yeah, there there are a couple there of treasure is. chests kicking around, but they're not super valuable. I think there's like one that you can get that's really rare, high. It's like super rare, and it's like... Uh, you would... Maybe there's two, but... Uh, I mean, normally you're just not going to be in the Castello. Yeah, especially when you're on a stealth mission. Yeah. Oh my God. Please, can you reach 
Now, the first time I attempted this, you, there was obviously a cut back there. The first time I attempted this mission, I got spotted by these two guys because I accidentally wandered a little too far forwards and they spotted me. And you don't have... Stealthy weapons, stealthy projectile weapons. You don't have stealthy and you don't also have a uh, dual arm blade, uh... At least Catherine, Catherine is, is a smooth operator. Yeah, she's trying to at least distract them. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Yeah, it's okay, white it screen, thank you. Tailor. Rescuing me will provoke Cesare's wrath. Fortunately for us, he is away. Any chance there is a second key? The guard handed his to Lucrezia, so I assume not. Do you know where she is? I finally the expect this luck. All right, stay or the here. upper gardens or whatever. The actual top of the Castello, you don't ever need to actually go there. But if you want the Platinum, you do have to go up there, because there is a trophy assigned to jumping off the Castello with a parachute. There's also a Borgia flag on top of the... a small Borgia flag on top of the gigantic Borgia flag. <laughs> nice. Uh, do not know why there's a giant Borgia flag, the small Borgia flag and the giant Borgia flag, but there is. So, if you're like me... You can say it's small Borgia flag for your last Borgia flag because you have infected me with the cool fucking looking screenshot with trophy sickness. I love you so. <laughs> I want to sing it to the heaven. Please, you must whisper it only to yourself. If Maybe he would uh, assassinate you. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Well, that way, Just going directly over it will not work. But that should not deter us. No. They will keep our secret. Unfortunately, this is not the right way to go. You have to go over to the other side. Can you tell I didn't remember a whole lot about this game? Or how exactly yeah. missions are supposed to go? I think the first time I did this mission, like, Chris, you spotted me. <laughs> then somehow, at which point it's like, oh no, she spotted me. And then I restarted, and it started me with her not being in there. Huh. Or it was, was me being in with that door being open, so I'm like, okay, let's work it like this. Why am I having so much trouble with this concept? I don't know. Yeah, it is. I remember like the rough outlines of how a lot of missions in this what game go, but sometimes I, the specifics, like how to get over that fence, fair clearly fair I way. kind of forgot how it's done. Yeah. It, it it certainly does not help. I haven't played this game before this starting this LP for like six yes. something Francesca. years, something like that. Yay! Yes, so the bridge is a backstabber. Even goodness. better. That was during my year of Assass uh, summer of Assassin's Creed when I played the first one, two, Brotherhood and Revelations, all pretty much back to back. Yeah, I, I pretty much played two Brotherhood and Revelations back to back. I, I played one. A long time ago, but then uh, two, two is just the greatest fucking hook in, of an ending ever. So yeah, please continue. I had to find out what happened next. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Yeah. Luckily, I finished uh, Brotherhood just in time for Revelations to come out, so I was able to finish the whole saga in the course of a single year. Nice. Free Caterina, and I will stand down. Impossible. I think I did all three, and then played Assassin's Creed three. The, that was a disappointment. Fuck. Yeah, the original uh, Brotherhood Platinum. Uh, um, I, I might have gotten okay. a few wires crossed there. The not... Crazia did not die until 1519. <laughs> it is not 1519. You cannot fist fight the Pope's daughter. <laughs> you killed these dudes. Hit me again. So now for an annoying mission. We're still, we're still on the... Well, yeah, actually, no, this is a different mission. Yes, anymore. this is a different that mission. Is your best. Yeah, I was going to say, thankfully it isn't a sneaky mission anymore. But, so, the, the rest of this mission is basically I we need to, to trouble, so you're uh, with me. beat up Scream. Katarina and be not beat up, Lucre, uh, beat up Lucrezia, I should say. And then just ride in her and try to carry her downstairs. Now. Right. Unfortunately, really along the way, these guys will ambush you, so you've got to toss Lucrezia down. 
I just want to. Fortunately, yeah. Apparently they can't knock them down. Apparently they will not attack if she's if she's facing you, which I think is the idea here. You want to sort of move. You want to keep the guards on one side of you, and they won't attack Lucrezia, so you can sort of get through. The How do you slit someone's throat with a mace? How does that work? Um, very carefully. Unfortunately, Lucrezia does uh, try to break away from you a whole bunch of dudes attack, so you got to chase after her, and it all becomes a right mess. But again, we're in the Pope's face killing his dudes. Yeah. They're slightly less to come. Jeez, dudes. that last one hurt. Ezio is just a like a Klingon with the uh, yeah mace. Um, the women were forbidden to marry, and the family What am I doing? I think I got a few wires crossed. I think I Just forgot. This place is amazing. I wouldn't blame you. So. Yeah. <laughs> you can't hear Lucrezia. All right, then. Yeah. Guards generally can't hear very well is the thing. Yeah. They are basically the genome soldiers from MGS1 who hear pretty much nothing. Yeah. Pretty sure your brother's bloodthirsty madman. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Now I'm not gonna bash your brains in with the mace. I learned my lesson the first time. Yeah, you'll just stab her with the knife. She kind of defaults to running up to that uh, <laughs> up upstairs garden. Yeah. The ignorant make easy targets. Whatever, my words are wasted here, hypocrite. There is just a slaughterhouse wherever Ezio goes. I mean, seriously. Did you see uh, see that massive pile of bodies when defending Copernicus? Yeah. Actually, when I was deciding on what image I was going to use for that update, I decided on that big, massive pile of bodies, because that's, that's still pretty funny to me. Yeah. There really are very few points in the game that throws that many dudes at you. Uh, especially this yeah. game. Like, you'd get a bunch in the, um, Far Lee missions, or... Yeah, but that's like a war situation. It's not... Let's bring yeah. a scientist in. Yeah. Yay, boob key. Ouch. That's enough, both of you. Boy, I bet she's gonna have quite the awkward story to tell. So this is a really annoying mission, I gotta say. I did not have fun doing this mission. And it's another stealth mission, but it's also a pick up and carry escort mission. And if you're clumsy and try to run for the exit, that guy will spot you. Yeah. This is one of the cases where having crossbow knives or even smoke bombs is really helpful, and like you, I actually didn't have any of them for this mission. Maybe I had a couple knives, but that's uh, probably about the most I had. But yeah, basically you just need to get yes. to the... Shh, don't, don't make Listen, I have a thing for redheads. He really does, actually. You have a family. It is not your family. That night at the villa, I had to ensure our allegiance to protect for me. <laughs> you understand, Ezio? Patriana Sears, kill a dude, pick her up. <laughs> yeah, you gotta really be careful on these staircases, because guys can spot you pretty fast, and if you fail... Oh, and if you see guys, if they see dead bodies, that brings them into the hall, and that's very bad for you. Yeah, and they don't see, of course, somehow they don't see Lucrezia. Uh, no, Lucrezia, yeah. Katerina. Jesus Christ. <laughs> just, just a heavily Please armed man in red walking up the stairs. <laughs> These guys really suck. Well, no, they're, you're, you're wearing the potsy colors. Yeah, I guess. I guess they, they think mistake. you're Micheletto and they don't want to fuck with you. <laughs> I guess they could mistake a red fellow in the dark. See, we're going with natural camouflage here. 
Yes. But yeah, these two guys will patrol back and forth, and you really get down have to be or careful. get down or die. That 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 isn't exactly <laughs> what I would say here. Um, la politica. Oh, oh poor it. Anyway, it did not explain. Listen, I just want to fuck somebody. Do you know how long it's been since I had the lay? Don't you There dare. you go. I'd like all my girls hot. <laughs> and he lands right on top of the crippled woman. Good one. Yes. Hey, Katarina! It's getting, it's getting to be quite a party in this hay bale. Figlio di putana. Never do that to me. But you didn't want to uh, roll in the hay? You know, hay assassinations remind me of everyone's favorite game, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, which also had hay bale assassinations. Because Hideo Kojima really likes the Assassin's Creed series, apparently. Yes. It also had cardboard boxes. Yes. Just a reminder that Old Snake's Altair costume was his best costume in that game. So, and a very annoying twist, they have in fact decided to lock the front gates. Wow, they actually are kind of competent. Still not, they're still not fantastic is it what I'm saying. From over there. Now, the, yeah. the thing is, there is a mission objective. You can't go too far from Katarina without failing. Right. So you kind of have to bring her along, but it's not that hard to avoid disaster here. Just, just at this point, don't screw up because you really don't want to restart. Trust me, th um, this mission took me way longer than this video actually indicates. Yeah. Uh, you're, because Katarina is a mission target, you're limited to about like 25 meters-ish of, of space between her. I mean, theoretically, you, you don't actually have to really drag her along. They are very close to the border of 25 meters. Yeah, I, was, I probably but, could have pulled this while leaving her in the castell, but I didn't want to risk it. Yeah, it's... It's not fun. No. Okay, so that's half one of the two gates open. Um, I mean, look what we've done here. We've infiltrated the Castella. Okay, I can forgive them allowing that to happen. But we also slaughtered a whole bunch of their dudes, kidnapped the Pope's daughter, locked her in a cell, then killed a whole bunch of other dudes, and now we're opening the front gate and they all haven't seen me yet. Uh, that's because everybody who does see you ends up dead. <laughs> Now we've got the front door open. Oh, I was so worried about that guy, you have no idea. Yeah, he's awkward, but he probably won't he just He's too high up, and he's got too steep of an angle to really see what's right below him. I didn't want to risk it. I no, I completely understand. Yay! Because I do know guards have generally are pretty bad at seeing things that are higher up than them, but things below, I didn't yeah, want to risk it. Yes. Right across the bridge, I will cover you. Oh no! Okay, this one is actually really easy to fail. I think the first time I did is because I got too far ahead of Katarina. Which is one of those video games. The first time, the first time I did this, this game told me how to j jump to a beam from a horse, and I did that, and then Katarina got away from me. <laughs> like, hey, this is cool. Like Katarina getting away from you is, or moving too far. See, uh, look at that. That is that is pure video gaming right there. How could they have possibly lost track of? You? It's just one of those weird video game rules you have to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. Because in reality, it doesn't make any sense. So you're supposed to go very slowly and draw a whole bunch of guards to you. Well, I might as well, you know. Yeah. Eh, just run. Fuck yeah. it. I know. Of course, if you probably just ran right across as opposed to... Yeah, you could have run, um, but this feels more correct. It's canon, Ezio does have a horse in this cutscene. Yes. 
Find Machiavelli there. You will be waiting for me. What about you? And by distract, I mean slaughter everybody. Get back in one piece, or I will never forget Listen, myself. he's got his killing mace. <laughs> okay, it's a whole bunch of... This is a pretty... This is the funnest part of these Castellan missions, just slaughtering all these dudes. And I kind of forgot how to break holds there. Yeah. Of course, you gotta get a kill streak of five. So you gotta get the mooks piled up around you. <laughs> I love these executions. Oh, that was only four that time, sorry. You know, this isn't gonna look great on anybody's uh, reputation go. here, I'm just saying. Man, this mace has quite a body count, huh? So I got a, have you got a five guys? I mean, I think I, I you think have, I, but it didn't Yeah, pop. I think I have. Game just didn't let me know because the game is weird sometimes. I was going to say, because I thought you had five times the last time, but it didn't pop, so I'm like, eh. Three, eh. four. Ah, you asshole. Counter kills, it's an acquired <laughs> system. <laughs> of course, now you have a bunch of fucking spear dudes, which are like the yeah, worst dudes to kill in this entire game. These, I hate spear dudes. And random. See, the Thieves, the Thieves Guild plans ahead. So that was what, like 15 guys there? Just another massacre in front of the Castel Sant'Angelo. Yeah. I'm gonna guess not a whole lot of people are gonna get promotions out of this mess. Uh, yes and no. Like maybe, maybe uh, they they weren't exactly very competent. But guess what? There's a whole lot of fucking vacancies now. Well, they'll recover, I think. But hey, do we have a returning feature from Assassin's Creed One in that Chase Breakers dudes? So yeah, they broke As into the did. Castello, they harassed your daughter, slammed their head against the bars, uh, escaped with the valuable prisoner, massacre at the front gates, the dude, the, in, the, the people escaped. Hey, there he is, <laughs> get him! The people escaped, and then there was an explosion of some variety. Just, just not a great track record for these guys. Whoa. They can't have uh, me knowing what, who or, I am. Or, or, if, or if you're familiar with the or just Saturday. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're running right into another patrol. Well, in see, high profile. I, this happens to me a lot, alright? Hey, at the very least, you're Hey, your armor broke. Yeah. I think it is someone hitting me at the front of the Castello. Oh, Jesus Christ. To be fair, when I did this mission, I made sure every single person was dead. Yeah, that's that's another way to play it. Uh, you're on the very border of search range, unfortunately. I'm being incognito is what I am, and there we go. All right, now that all that silliness is taken care of, we've got a major new gameplay mechanic we are going to introduce in the last six minutes of this video. How to repair armor? Yes. Now, uh, there is a different category of weapons in this game that are long weapons. Uh, the Roman longsword does not count as a long weapon. No. Uh, it's generally just a fucking sphere. And yes, as previously discussed, the crossbow is really overpowered in this game. It's a long range, uh, completely stealthy, one hit kill, and it comes with like 15 bolts. And the quiver size can get upgraded. Yes, it's, 
<laughs> and when you're not targeting somebody, it looks really weird when you do target somebody. Yeah. And Ezio can bend his wrist in very interesting ways while maintaining perfect accuracy on a guy. So he's basically an aim bot when he has the uh, crossbow out. And it aims pretty damn quickly too, so... So the crossbows are very good, and the downside to the crossbow is that it is technically a little... God damn it, horse! <laughs> You're preventing me from... Resurrecting Roma. Yes, there, there, there will be consequences for this horse. Um, though some of the heavier enemies can be, I don't know. Sometimes it feels like they can truck up with the crossbow bolt, but not always. Well, they are, they are wearing pretty heavy armor. Yes. Where are you heading? Heading back to the next mission. Which is at which is at Isola Tiburina. Oh, there's a fast travel point right there. Oh. We can get it. I can get it yeah, sometime you're, later. You're right there anyway. Let's stop at the bank and get yeah. your money. Eh, maybe next time. All in all, pretty successful mission there. Yeah. Ezio. Where is Machiavelli? I could not find him. I Our old pal and Wolfe. Apparently she wasn't looking very hard. Or, no, I, I guess that's not fair. He probably came up through the tunnels just now. Yeah. What of Cesare and Rodrigo? Cesare rode off before I could get close to him. You would just say that so you don't have to kill them like you did fail to do before. Rodrigo is usually at the castello. Very odd indeed. What a waste. Oh, Machiavelli, you're such a dick. With Cesare gone to Urbino, we must He's such a Machiavellian asshole. Impossible. Cesare commands a I guess it's kind of the yeah, exact. You would never reach him. I say we work here, in Roma. Erode the Borgia's influence while restoring our own. And in fact, I want to begin right now. Volpe, bring Claudia and Bartolomeo here. Machiavelli. It's got to be kind of humiliating for Machiavelli okay. taking orders from someone who is much, much less his junior. But he's fucking rich. He was on our yeah. Look, the Borgia rob everything from the people to maintain power. What do you intend to do? We will so yeah, it is it is about time yes. we introduce this whole brotherhood mechanic to this game, right? Loyal soldiers. By recruiting yes. enemies of the state, we arm those who have been disarmed by the Borgia. Recruit the first losses. This is a really short mission, and that's why it's at the very end of this video. Yes, and here we go. There's a lot to talk about with the whole Assassin's Recruit stuff. But, you know, that can wait for... Time to show off the crossbow. Yeah, unfortunately these guards aren't any guard posts, so it does not count. Unfortunately. But yeah, for the challenge. They have to be standing there crossing their arms for you to count. Well, that makes all the difference, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're... Okay, that's our new assassin, buddy. Now... Damn it! Oh hey, you know, oh, yeah, this is one of kind of the stock lines that you'll be hearing this a bunch. Uh, you know what I haven't done this video? That's been kind of a recurring theme. Choose to fight. Stand with me against the Borgia. I am tired of hiding in the shadows. Let's see. You've already randomly cost. Yeah, I haven't killed anyone randomly. No, no you just been pushing them. Well, you killed Kath. Uh, uh, you did kill Kurtzio. No, we didn't. We just knocked her out at one time. Uh, I'm pretty sure you used him later. Oh well. Yeah, damn, you're right. So you can... What's an SEO did a kill civilians? So you can also recruit female assassins. Yes. And of course, if you want to be that kite in the dick, you'll be the person who will exclusively recruit female <laughs> assassins. <laughs> because you, just in case you don't want to use the cheat, that gives you an all Yeah, there is brother. a... I think it's called sisterhood for the record. Yes. It is. It is. Um, 
Hey, her sword isn't attached to her body. That makes no... That's very silly. Liberation of Roma has begun. Yeah. Look. My skills are limited. Look, she's but psychic. We can use her. <laughs> you have there no idea. Start building the Brotherhood back up, because Machiavelli is a terrible manager. Or maybe he's actually a very good manager, but, you know, he's... He's very good at getting other people yeah, exactly. to do what he wants. But hey, look, look at look just look, just in the most roundabout this, is look at this mess of a possible. mini map. We've got a lot to do. Yes. We All do. right. All right. Stop. Yep. Stop recording.